a mastiff. And about how much is your mastiff weigh? 88 pounds, exactly. And how long have you had your mastiff? I had had her for a month and a half. Where did you get her from? The Humane Society. So she was a rescue? Yes, she was. How old is she? Around two years old. So you really didn't know what her temperament was? I did. Well, evidently not. I did. Well, if you're such a good judge of your dog's temperament, because this clearly happened, I hope you're a better judge of smug one. So I want you to tell me what happened as you were walking your dog. We were walking, we walked just around the corner. And as soon as we rounded the corner, we could see about four houses up that their dog was standing on the sidewalk there. And we could tell there was no one around. On the sidewalk? On the sidewalk, uh, on the right-hand side of the, on the Berwick there. And we could see there was no one around and the dog... Describe the dog, color. Large, brownish, black. So what did you do? As soon as we saw the dog, we both said, well, let's just turn around. And so we attempted Smart. to turn around. And but as soon as the dog saw Murphy, our dog, he just started charging just the distance between he and us and just attacked Murphy. And Murphy went right down on the street. And my husband was holding Murphy's leash. So when it happened, then my husband went down with Murphy and there were no neighbors or anything out at the time. So I just started screaming for someone to come out, help, help, whose dog is this, to find out who it was. And then people started coming out and someone said, I think it belongs in that house down on the corner. So that's when I went down to their house and I was knocking on the door. The fight was still, the dog fight was still occurring in the street there. And I ran down there and knocked on the door and a small lady came to the door, but she didn't understand English. Who was that? Uh, his grandmother. His grandmother. But I could tell by her actions, she goes, no, no, I don't. So she closed the door and then another person came out. I believe she identified herself as, she said, it's my cousin's dog. I believe she said cousins. I was very upset. Who else? Who was that? Elena. Who is that? Uh, his aunt. Where were you? I was actually watching TV, this stupid show. You were show. watching TV home? Yeah, I was watching this stupid show called Judge Judy. Listen to me. Listen to me. Shut your mouth unless I ask you a question. Do we understand? Yeah. Great. Judge Judy continues in a moment. to get yes. the dog. Yes. Great. Now, can I see pictures of the dog, please? Uh, when you got home, pictures sit. Before and when you got home, Miss Miller, pay attention. When you got home, Miss Miller, did his cousin tell you what happened with the dog? She didn't see what happened. I didn't ask you whether she saw it happen. I said, when you got home, did his cousin tell you what happened with the dog? No, she didn't see what happened. I didn't ask you whether she saw it. I said, did she tell you anything that happened with your dog? No, she told me that somebody came to the door. Yes. And that somebody came, came to, the, to door the door at asking and about a dog. Asking about a dog and yes. and what? That's what happened. So she said somebody came to the door asking about a dog, and you didn't ask what dog. What happened? Is no, my I, dog okay? No, I did. I went in the back, and my dog was chained up. That's exactly what I said. So you asked idiot boy here. What happened to the dog? Because he was watching TV. He was going to say, I was watching some stupid program like Judge Judy. That's what he was going to say. That's why I shut him up. <laughs> you see, I'm able to do that with him because he's a wise guy. I could tell his smugness when I walked out the door. Yeah. You may like it. No. You may like it. They, may, they make interesting boyfriends. They make lousy mates. Okay. Yeah. Great. Well. Judge Judy continues in a moment.